assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel in this video we will discuss the most important mcqs of biodiversity chapter 3 of class 9 so the first mcq which is related to biodiversity the term biodiversity is derived from dash word greek latin or french which one is the correct option so the term biodiversity is derived from greek word Biodiversity means dash within uh, species. So biodiversity means similarity within species, uh, species variety within, within species or commonism. So biodiversity means variety within species. So the right option is variety. Dash is the variety of organism present in different ecosystem. Our option is biology, biodiversity or community. So the right option is biodiversity biodiversity is the variety of organism present in different ecosystem uh, system so this is the definition of biodiversity our next mcq is biodiversity may consist on dash million kinds of organism uh, on earth so it is 50 million 150 million or 100 so biodiversity may consist on 100 million kinds of organism on this planet on this earth our next mcqs is there are about dash million different kinds of organisms on earth so dash million different kinds of organism on earth the options are one two or three so the right option is two there are about two million different kinds of organisms on earth Tropical region have dash biodiversity, so poor, richer, or none. So tropical regions have richer biodiversity. The right option is richer. Polar organism have dash species, many, fewer, or lesser. So the right option is fewer. Polar have fewer, while tropical have richer biodiversities. These are two of them, which is related to one another. The biodiversity is responsible for dash. Variety of food, reducing of food or increasing of food. So biodiversity is responsible for variety of food. The right option is variety of food. Our next MCQ is the biodiversity is important for product for the production of dash. The drugs, industrial material are both. So biodiversity is important for the production of both. It is also important for drugs and industrial materials. So the right option is C. Dash is the method of which organism is divided into groups. So branching, division or classification. So it's like a definition. So dash is the method of which organism uh, of which organism is divided into groups. So the right option is classification. Classification is the method by which organism is divided into groups. Aristotle classified organism on the basis of dash or option are shape, habitat or behavior. So Aristotle classified organism on the basis of habitat. The right option is B habitat. Biologists classify organism on the basis of dash habitats, habits, appearance or physical character. So biologists nowadays classify organism on the basis of physical appearance so the right option is c autotrophs are dash so autotrophs are more photosynthetic or non photosynthetic so the right option is photosynthetic autotrophs are photosynthetic heterotrophs are photosynthetic or non photosynthetic so heterotrophs are non photosynthetic the right option is non photosynthetic they cannot prepare their own food Organism is classified into one group on the basis of dash. So organism is classified in one group on the basis of so the option are homologous structure, appearance or habitat. So the right option is homologous structure. Organism are divided into one group on the basis of homologous structure. Next MCQ is dash propose a different rank or level for classification of organism. Aristotle, Linnaeus or Robert. So dash propose so the right option is Linnaeus. Linnaeus proposed a different rank of level for classification of organism. Such ranks are called dash. 
Texa, Texon or both. So such ranks are called Texa or Texon. So the right option is both. Our next MCQ is DASH is the smallest unit of classification. Gene, cell or species. So DASH is the smallest unit of classification. The right option is species. Species is the smallest unit of classification. The member of species have dash number of chromosomes. So the option is same, different, or zero. So the member of species have dash number have same number of chromosomes. So the right option is A. Human have dash chromosomes 23, 38, or 46. So the right option is 46. Human have 46 chromosomes. Our next MCQ is. Dash is a group of species that are similar in some character, genus, species, or class. So genus is a group of species that are similar in same character. The right option is A. Closely related genera are grouped into a dash. So closely related genera are group form are grouped into a dash. So the right option is family. Closely related families are grouped into one dash. So closely related group uh, uh, families are grouped into one order, class, or family. So the right option is order A. Our next MCQ is closely related order or group into dash family, kingdom, or class. So closely related order or group into class. Species are grouped into genus. Genus are grouped into family, and family are grouped into order, and order are grouped into class. The class is grouped into dash, or option is phylum or kingdom. So the class is grouped into phyla, which is the second largest kingdom. Dash is the largest taxon of the classification. So the largest taxon is phyla or kingdom. The right option is B. Kingdom is the largest taxon of the classification. Aristotle group plant is dash. Our option is grasses. Aristotle group plant is grasses. Abu Osman al-Jahiz explained character of dash animal species. So he explained 350 animal species in his book. In Kitab al Hayawan, Al Jahiz explained dash character of animal. So he explained 250, 350, or 450 character of animal. So the right option is 350. He explained 350 character of animal. Dash proposed the first system of classification. So, Carlos Linnaeus proposed the first system of classification. Linnaeus in 1753 classified all things in Dash kingdom. So, two, three, or five. So, Linnaeus in 15, 1753 classified all living things in Dash system, which is considered as the first system of classification. So, the first system of classification is into two kingdoms. Kingdom Animalia and Kingdom Plantia. Dash include all green plants, algae, fungi, and bacteria. Our option is Kingdom Plantia or Kingdom Animalia. So, Kingdom Plantia are green contain all green plants, algae, fungi, and bacteria. So, the right option is A. Euglena have dash like characteristic plant, animal, or both. So, Euglena have both plant and animal like character. So, the right option is both. Fungi are dash, autotrophs are heterotrophs. Which one is correct? So, fungi are, fungi are heterotrophs which cannot pr prepare their own food. Kingdom Monera include dash, eukaryotes, prokaryotes, or flans. So, Kingdom Monera contain prokaryotes. The right option is B. Kingdom Monera are dash, unicellular, multicellular, or both. So, Kingdom Monera are unicellular. So, the right option is A. Our next MCQ is Monera cell wall is made of a dash, murine, chitin, or cellulose. So, Monera cell wall is made up of murine. The right option is A. 
Kingdom protesta do not form dash tissue, silk or colony. So kingdom protesta do not form tissues. The right option is A. Kingdom protesta include dash prokaryotes or eukaryotes. So the right option is eukaryotes. Kingdom protesta include eukaryotes. The food is stored in the form of dash starch or glycogen. Kingdom uh, protesta store food in the form of glycogen. The right option is B. The example of protesta are dash mushrooms, plasmodium, or bacteria. So the example of uh, protesta are plasmodium. So the right option is plasmodium is the example of protesta. Kingdom plantia are dash heterotropic or autotropic. So kingdom plantia are autotropic. They can prepare their own foods. That's why kingdom plantia are autotropic. The cell wall of plantia are made up of dash. So the cell wall of plantia are made up of cellulose. Plantia reserve food in the form of dash. So plantia reserve food in the form of starch. Plantia are dash organism unicellular or multicellular. So the right option is multicellular. Plantia are multicellular organisms. Example of Plantia are dash mosses, algae, or bacteria. It is very easy. The example of Plantia are mosses. Kingdom animalia include dash organism. So kingdom animalia also include multicellular organisms. Our next MCQ is kingdom anim uh, kingdom animalia are dash autotrophic or heterotrophic. So it's very easy. Uh, kingdom animalia are heterotrophic. They cannot prepare their own food. Animalia lack dash ribosome organelles or cell wall. So animalia uh, lack cell wall. Cell wall is absent in animalia. They reserve food in the form of dash. So animals reserve food in the form of glycogen. The right option is B. Glycogen. Our next MCQ is Kingdom Animalia include dash vertebrates. Invertebrates are both. It's very easy. We know that Kingdom Animalia include both vertebrates and invertebrates. So the right option is both. Virus. Virus have dash characteristics. Living, non-living or both. So virus is the one thing which uh, lie on the boundary line of living and non-living things. So uh, virus have the characteristics of both living and non-living. So the right option is both. Living characters of virus are dash reproduction, contain, RNA. So living characters of virus are both. They have the property of reproduction. They also contain RNA or DNA. That's why they are considered as living. Virus non-living characteristics are dash. Virus do not excrete or respire due to which virus are considered as non-living organisms. Virus are inactive of the living host cell inside or outside. So virus are always in inactive form outside if they are outside of the living host cell but when they reach the host cell they remain live and reproduce. Virus can be crystallized, which is dash property. So virus can be crystallized due to which it is considered non-living and non-living property. So the right option is non-living. Binomial nomenclature. Binomial nomenclature was, is, was introduced by dash. So binomial nomenclature was introduced by Carlos Linnaeus. Binomial nomenclature means that every plants and animals have dash names. Two, three, or four. So binomial, binomial means two. So that's why the right option is two. That every plant and animal have two names. The first word is the name of dash. So genus, species, or non. So the first word is the name of genus. And two names. One name is genus, and other is species name. So the first one is genus name. The right option is A. The second word is the name of dash, species or kingdom. So the second word is the name of species. The right option is species. 
so binomial every plants in animal have two name in which the first one is genus name and the second name represent the species specific name dash name begin with capital letter species or generic name so the generic name always begin with a capital Linear listed dash different species of plants and animal. So linear listed four thousand different species of plants and animal. So uh, the right option is four thousand different species. In binomial nomenclature, a single dash is used. So in binomial nomenclature, a single scientific name is used, which is uh, acceptable in the all words. Dash name is common to all species of particular genus. So generic name is common to all species of a particular genus. The scientific name of cat is dash Felis domestica or Felis leu. So the scientific name of cat is Felis domestica. The right option is A. The scientific name of a tiger is dash or option is uh, Phyllis domestica, Phyllis leu or Phyllis tigris. So the scientific name of tiger is Phyllis tigris. The scientific name are they are in dash language. French are Latin. So all the scientific name are in Latin language. The right option is Latin. Conservation means to use the dash. Animals, plants are resources. So conservation means to use the resources. The right option is C. Extinct species are those which no longer dash on earth. So extinct species are those which no longer lives on earth. These are also considered as the definition of the extinct species. The species which are in danger of extinction are called dash. So the species which are in danger of extinction are called endangered species. The species which are in, in danger in near future are called dash. Those species which are also in danger but in near future, these uh, species are called threatened species. Maximum biodiversity is found in dash, desert, forest or land. So maximum biodiversity is found in forests. The right option is B. The removal of forest are called dash, deforestation or forestry. So the right option is deforestation because the removal of forest are called deforestation. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe.